The Feast of St. Patrick is one of Savannah's favorite and most renowned holidays. It sure is. And we're going to show you how we prepare for our St. Patrick's Day table. You know, the first St. Patrick's Day celebration in Savannah was in 1824, and here we are in one of SCAD's historic buildings, the Savannah Volunteer Guards Armory. Today we call it Petter Hall, and it was built in 1892. One of our favorite spaces here at Petter Hall is the Chaperone's Balcony and the installation by alumna Trish Anderson, the ties that bind us. Prospective students and current students and alumni tie their own wishes onto this beautiful installation. This person wrote, they wish to design a film for Christopher Nolan. And this one says to graduate, and I did. Congratulations, Nick. <laughs> yeah. So come on down to Petter Hall if you're in Savannah and tie on your own wish. So what are we starting with today? Well, our table's gonna be pretty elaborate, so we're starting with this simple green and white tablecloth from Marigold. This will look great with our Pierre de placemats. Perfect. And the beautiful toile pattern references the countryside of France, and it's interesting, we associate St. Patrick with Ireland, of course, but he actually studied theology in France, in Burgundy. We'll start with these beautiful green chargers. And this china from Belique, made in Northern Ireland. It references the wicker baskets that are so prevalent in Ireland. Okay, now here's a design decision. Go with the Belique or go with the Majolica? I personally like the pop and the pizzazz of the Majolica. What do you think? Yeah, all greens go together. All greens go together. And these beautiful hand-woven linen and cotton napkins created right here in Savannah, Georgia by Alexandra Forby, BFA in painting. Keys, please. We're using these beautiful keychains by Alan Slattery, who graduated from SCAD in accessory design. He's your guy if you need some handmade shoes or handbags, but today he made for us these simple little green leather keychains that we're using as napkin rings. And we placed three little skeleton keys on there to represent past, present, and future of St. Patrick's Day. One of these is crooked, so I don't know if that's my past, present, or future. <laughs> Let's put the Majolica knife rest down. A knife rest is a beautiful little accessory for the table, but it's also quite practical. It helps keep your placemats and your tablecloth clean. Flatware. So you've got some Bakelite vintage flatware. These are the craziest looking knives. <laughs> tomato knives because our first course is going to be fried green tomatoes. We love those in the south. A little spoon on the top. Mm -hmm. Tucking in our forks into the keychain and napkin. We need glassware. These are beautiful hand-blown glasses by Asp and Hand. They're up in Washington State. To contrast. Mm -hmm. Silver on glass is called angel gilding. Love these emerald goblets. We can't forget our Irish coffee mug. <laughs> Irish coffee. Irish coffee. A requirement on St. Patrick's Day. All right, so we've got a plethora of green candles here. We've got some British racing green. We've got some emerald green. And we've got celadon over here. So we can mix and match our green candles. Cards by Shannon Snow, SCAD graduate. She custom designed each of these menu cards to be a little bit different so each person feels very special. Well, you know, our SCAD graduates can do anything. These crowns were made by Ariel Whitworth, who graduated from SCAD. So these are Clada crowns. And this is a traditional symbol of love and friendship. Richard Joyce was a fisherman in Ireland and he was captured by Barbary pirates back in the 1700s. So he saved up these minute pieces of gold over his servitude and he eventually made a clatter ring for his love when he returned to Ireland 14 years later. 
and he married her. Wow, that's a sweet story. Oh, it's so sweet. I love the saying of the clad of, love is in the form of the heart, the hands of friendship cradling it, and the crown of fidelity. It reminds me of the Ruskin saying that we use so much at SCAD. Fine art is that in which the hand, the head, and the heart go together. Oh my goodness, that is one centerpiece. It's quite heavy. And what an amazing vessel by Christina Larson, SCAD alumna from Arts Administration. And these Bells of Ireland, they make a statement. Do you think it needs anything? Maybe some Veronica? Maybe a few Snapdragons? There's something about a white and green arrangement that is so fresh and it just always is a classic. Let's stand away. That's always a trick that I advise. Make sure something looks good from close up because people are going to be sitting there, but also from a distance, like when they approach. If you apply the theory more is more, it works. <laughs> Did you want to sprinkle shamrocks on the table? Let's do. Wait, are these uh, shamrocks or clovers? Well, shamrocks are clovers, but not all clovers are shamrocks. <laughs> okay, shamrocks have three leaves, and clovers can have more than three. Sprinkle with abandon, and if they land on the plate, that's fine, because they're microgreens, so they're edible. That looks like everything. Is that everything? I think it is. Well, I think we did my Celt ancestors proud. Well, I would say so. It's a tradition anchored in love, joy, and pride. And green. <laughs> yes. And it wouldn't be St. Patrick's Day without my potato gratin. It looks delicious. Happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day, everyone. Erin Gobra.